Hi guys and welcome to the Racing video series. In this uh, tutorial we will see the two main features, one of the two main features of this plugin. Uh, one is the sync back and the second is auto sync. So let's see what is the sync back. Whenever we make any changes in our site or in, in the store, it should be sent to the Google Sheet. And uh, auto sync means whenever we change in sheet, it should be sent to the store after some interval which we will set. So let's get it started. So first of all, we will see how to sync back. And if sync back is not working at your end, please follow these steps. So you have to click on tools, skip editor, and make sure you have the right access. Okay, when this editor is open, you need to click on deploy. Click on new deploy and name it anything you want like my new dev. Okay, but you have to make sure that the option is execute as set to me and who access the web set anyone. These option must be similar setting here at your end and click on deploy and you have to copy this URL and go back to your Google Sync settings page under WooCommerce settings and Google Sync and here you need to add your, your paste this URL. I have already paste this so now as you can see I have two products here in my sheet and these are also linked in my store. If I change anything in my product or in category it should be sent to the sheet automatically. So let's see how it's possible. So I will add the category and I will update the price 30 to 20. Okay, so let's add the category to this one and add update the price and click update. Okay, here you see a success message sheet is also updated. So let's see inside the sheet. Okay, here you see the price is updated and the categories as well. So this is how data is sent back from your store to your sheet. Okay, let's see the second part of this video is to enable auto sync feature. So make sure you open the editor again and uh, click on the triggered tab on the left side and uh, here I have already created a trigger but let me delete it first. Now add new trigger and inside function to run you must see this function sync product sheet auto and if you don't see this function it means you have the older version of the script so don't worry, I have copy paste the link to my latest code of GIST. You need to open this and copy code.js file all content and go to the editor and paste inside the same file by removing everything and paste fresh code in, in this. So once you done this, now go back to triggers again, add trigger, then you must see this function in here and choose web deployment to head. And here the event source is time driven and you 
you can set the interval specific like minutes, hours and days. Let me set two minutes for the testing purpose and I can set the different time durations. And let me set the every minute and hit save. Okay. And meanwhile, I will make this syncable and let me update the price to 15. So after a minute, once this trigger is auto one, this data will be sent to your store after one minute. You can see we have last run noted. So it's me. Yes, it is set to OK. So let's see this price should be 15. And remember, these are the pro features and uh, you have to purchase the pro version of the Google Sync plugin. Okay, cool. Here you see the price is being updated. So everything, everything you make here, you change here, and uh, the auto sync, sync is enabled, and the sync column is also left blank. These changes will send back to your store. So guys, today's video will see how we can sync back and auto sync uh, products from your store to Google Sheet and from Google Sheet to your store. So we'll be back with more videos and tutorials to make Google Sync more good tool to handle your products and store in bulk. Bye bye.